Hey there, welcome back to SimTech channel in this series of tutorial on components of an electrical substation. In today's presentation, I'm taking you into the fascinating world of high voltage fuses and the crucial role in an electrical substation. By the end of this presentation, you're going to learn the purpose and function of high voltage fuses, the types and operating principle. You're also going to learn how they are installed in an electrical substation. Obviously, the advantages of high voltage fuses with anything, they always disadvantage as well in that we're going to see the limitation that come with high voltage fuses as well as the application of high voltage fuses. So stay tuned until the end of this presentation so that you can get up to date with this fascinating component found in an electrical substation. Now, it's common knowledge that high voltage fuses are very essential in electrical infrastructures protection but what exactly do they do and how do they work let's find out now first off the primary purpose of high voltage fuses is protection they must provide protection for power transformers capacitors bank and other crucial equipment located in an electrical substation right they must protect them against overcurrent and fault condition now, ironically, in this picture, we've got a pole mount transformer that is actually on fire. Now, this may have been as a result of an electrical uh, protective equipment failing to do its job. Now, before you start blaming the high voltage fuse for failing to protect these, high, uh, these pole mount transformer, please remember there are other equipment as well doing exactly the same job. This may have been a result of a failed search arrestor to protect a search from a lightning uh, against these pole mount transformer or also a nearby circuit breaker failing to protect against a fault current. So if we assume that this fire was not caused by the failure of a high voltage fuse, then we know that high voltage fuses must enhance safety of equipment by preventing this type of fire hazard from occurring and they must also prevent damage to equipment and power outage and obviously this fire that is engulfing this polymer transformer obviously before this firefighter uh, put this fire out it will cause significant damage to this uh, transformer where refurbishing it might actually not be an option you have to replace it all together right so we have to install this high voltage transformer to prevent situations of this nature Great. Now let's take a look at the different type of fuses that you may find in an electrical substation. These are the current limiting fuses, the expulsion fuses, and the HRC fuses, also known as the high rupturing capacity fuses. Now the current uh, limiting fuses, they basically quickly interrupt the fault current and the expulsion fuses, they use gas to basically extinguish the arc in an advance of a short circuit. And obviously the HRC fuses handle high fault current in industrial applications. Now, now you understand that you cannot deploy a, an HRC fuses in a transmission line system uh, above. You have to put an expulsion fuses in this kind of application great now having said that how do these uh, high voltage fuses actually operate now as you all know uh, a fuse in a normal condition right we're not going to detach from a simple operating principle of a normal fuse like an electronic fuse or whatever type of fuse you want to use in a, in your electrical circuit now in a normal condition under normal condition a fuse element we basically just conduct the current smoothly without any problem now if a fault current arise right like we've seen in the earlier picture where the pole mounting transformer was on fire now this could be a result of a high fault current now when that's arrived these fuses here will actually heat up right the element is going to start to heat up and it will eventually break the circuit to stop the flow of the current so that basically in a simple term how they operate now different mechanisms can be used to actually extinguish the fire when it's melt basically when the metal heat up it's gonna get red like in the cases of expulsion fuses they use 
uh, gases to basically extinguish the arc and also so extinguishing the arc depends on the type of fuse that is being employed in the particular application great now before we talked about the installation and maintenance of high voltage uh, fuses please if you find this tutorial useful please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel you are more than welcome to also share this presentation great now high voltage fuses as you can see mounted in these structures that is where they are actually installing these type of structures and they are often connected in series with other uh, equipment such as transformers to basically provide the protection to the said equipment or capacitor bank for that meter and once they are installed regular inspection must be provided this is part of the maintenance routine you must inspect them to always see whether there is a change in the form factor of the fuse and that will trigger the process to basically having them replace this is to ensure that there is reliability because remember one of the key requirement of a power system is reliability and continuity of supply and one of the key strategies for maintaining these high voltage fuses is to look for signs of wear and corrosion because these are metal equipment right so obviously they will be prone to uh, corrosions and other things that are connected to metals right and you must always ensure proper installation great now as with every uh, a piece of equipment there are always advantages and disadvantages right so high voltage circuit breakers they are not uh, spare from that okay so basically the main advantage of these high voltage circuit breakers is that they are quick to respond to fault okay and they are cost effective the design is very simple right but the problem with these uh, guys here is that as soon as they pop you must replace them okay so you cannot reset them like a circuit breaker that will trip all you have to do is to remotely basically reset the circuit breaker no 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 with a uh, fuse you must replace them all the time and this will actually be an inconvenience if you've got a power system network where you've got lots of fault occurring on that line and fuses start popping all the time so that basically mean every time you have to send out technician to go and have those fuses replaced so that basically the main disadvantage of these high voltage fuses and adding up to that proper relay coordination must be put in place for these high voltage uh, fuses to work with other protective equipment such as circuit breakers and differential relays so that is basically it for high voltage fuses found in an electrical substation now when it's come to the application of these high voltage fuses we've already discussed as the hrc fuses are mostly found in industrial application and these expulsion fuses you find them in a uh, high voltage transmission line or on your distribution line so that is it guys for this presentation if you find it useful please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel and turn the notification bell if you don't want to miss uh, the upcoming tutorial on components of an electrical substation until next time cheers